all right so the next thing i want to do is to go to my uh, sql server management studio so i just say s s m s so when you do that you have this microsoft uh, sql server management studio 18 so i'll just click on that um and this is opening So once that opens, so this is the studio. Now the first thing is asking you to have this um, Windows authentication. You know when we set when we're setting it up, we chose two options to a mix of Windows authentications and using credentials. So we can use either either of the two to connect to our SQL server. So I'm going to use Windows authentication right now to have a connection instance. So I have my uh, server name, which is my PC name. I have my Windows authentication. I'll just connect straight away. So once you connect, so you'll see um, database. You'll see databases. You have securities. You have server objects. You have reputations. You have polybase. You have management. So right now, what I want to do is pretty much just to create another username and password. I could use the SA, that's the default username and the password that we created while configuring our SQL Server initially. But just to show you how to create more, more um, users, more uh, credentials, I'm going to go into security. So once you expand the security um, part, then under security, you have logins, server roles, credentials, audit, server audit specifications. So under security, just expand it or just right click. When you you will see when you expand this, you'll see all the logins that have been created and including the system administrator default um, username. So what we need to do is just come here, right click on that login folder. So when you right click on it, you'll see new login. So when you click on the new login, you'll see this login um, um, dialog. So you see the interface. Saying login name, window authentication login, or SQL Server authentication. So we'll say SQL Server authentication. Then you provide the login name of your choice. So in this case, I'm going to use um, a login name, say Kenny. And then I would then provide a password of my choice. Uh, so I'll just provide the password of my choice. So I would not use complex passwords. So you want to use a complex password that is ensuring that you enforce password policy, which is in an enterprise environment. This is what is encouraged to use a password that is no, um, cannot, that cannot easily be guessed. And of course, you have this constant reminder that you should change your password at next login. So, but if I just do this, uh, it just allows me to use my uh, password of choice. I will help us simply with this. So I just use that. Then that's all that it is there to be done on this interface. The next thing I would do is on the on this left hand side here, you get to see general. Uh, you have server rules. So I will click on server rules. So when you click on server rules, this user, you know, is by default a public user. But I equally want to give the user some more and some more power. So I'll give the user a sysadmin um, um, role. This will enable me, you know, this user has, you know, configurations power because I want to use this user for my um, PC's database configuration later on. So that's what I want to do. So I'll make it have a public and a sysadmin role. So once I do that, I will just OK. The moment I OK that, I can see that Kenny has now dropped here. So I have the login, and then I have another user. I can create as many usernames as, pos as, as possible. So you can also come here. But right now, you see the, data the database that you have um, is you only have you know, the default databases, master, model, MSDB, temporary. To create a database is pretty simple. Just right click, just like we did, and create a database. But for now, we are not creating any database. So we are going to use the automatic database installation of our PCs. Okay, so once we've done this, that's all that is required to be done at this point. 
the username is created a new user is created a new database please keep that database say uh, that username and password safe you will need it later on so the next thing we want to do is to go through um, we're done configuring our database credentials now so um, that is done the next thing we want to do will be to then set up our our um, database that is required for our inst B, uh, db's um, pcs installation okay so we'll go back here so i'm going to have to pause this so that you can follow it one after the other so let me have this 